What's good, YouTube? Andre here with the DM Network. And y'all hit the subscribe button if you can. It is completely free, costs you nothing, and it helps us to grow and continue doing what we enjoy doing and creating this content. Now on with the video. So tonight, y'all, I wasn't going to do um, a video tonight or discussion rather, but I've been browsing the internet um, and I'm looking into starting a new series as far as the project, Dragon Ball game project is going with showing or talking about features in other Dragon Ball games that I think would go good in this game. What makes this game so special is that not because it's an RPG, because Dragon Ball has done RPGs before. Uh, the, there was one really, really fun RPG on the Super Nintendo, I remember back. I played it on an emulator back when I was younger. Um, and you, I remember it to this day. It was very fun. I, can't, I couldn't remember the name of it, though, because it was in Japanese, of course, at the time. But um, I saw some videos of it on YouTube. And, and then everybody's talking about, like, the legacy of Goku series and stuff like that. One thing we have to realize or remember is that this is an action. They made a point to say it's an action RPG. Now, will it be an action adventure RPG? Like, The Witcher is an adventure RPG. Uh, is it going to be adventure? Some people are saying it's open world. I haven't seen anything confirm that it's open world yet, so I'm not going to say that at this point. It's clearly speculation. Um, but it's an action RPG, and that's enough for me. Normally, action RPGs are open world games. So the difference between some of the other RPGs that they've made and this one is that it's an action RPG, so it's not turn-based. So you're not going to see stuff like uh, cards that you use that allow you to attack, and then the opponent gets a chance to attack, and then you attack. It's not like action RPG just basically means it's an open-world type fighting thing where I'm just walking around and I can get into a fight right then and there. Now, will there be cutscenes? I doubt it generally in an action. It could be. It could be. Normally in RPGs, uh, action RPGs especially, tend to have cutscenes in the battle. I mean, it's showing stuff. You know, it's really dependent on the developer. They want to go that route. There is no written rule that says you can't have cutscenes. So as far as performing ultimate attacks and things like that, you know, I don't know how they're going to look. However, with it being an action RPG, um destruction is a part of that they can put destruction in the game and if it's an open world then you could really affect the landscape of the of the game itself this is it's it's almost untreated territory because like i said we've had rpgs before the legacy of ghost who i guess you could consider that series an action rpg and some people saying is it a remake of that I don't think that it is. While they may take certain elements from it, I don't think that it's going to be a remake of it uh, because normally when they name it a project something, that means it's something completely new, completely different. It's not going to be Xenoverse 3 or anything like that. This is something different. They're probably going to bring on a different development team and everything for this game. And, I mean, there's just so many different routes that they can go. And it makes me nervous a little bit because... I really want this game to be great. I want this game to be what I've, what I've been talking about for the past week, for the past 10, 11 days uh, about this game and what we want to see from this game. And because if it's done right, this game will be a hit. And that's why I think that they are going to do everything they can to make this game as awesome as possible. I don't think it's going to um, look... I mean, you know, action RPGs can be in the third person gameplay. I mean, open world where you can fly anywhere, do anything, all that kinds of things. Uh, but I'm interested to see how the battle mechanics are going to be. How are you going to get engaged with these boss fights and things like that? Is it going to be kind of like Dragon Age Inquisition where, you know, you basically run into these boss fights in the open world kind of thing? You know, it, I love RPGs. I love them. And now to have a modern day, because I've played the older Dragon Ball RPGs, but to have a modern day and it's an action RPG, I'm so hyped I'm nervous. Because like I said, it, it's either a hit or a miss with this. 
I'm ready to see the graphics. I'm ready to see the gameplay, the ultimate attacks, the super attacks, you know, uh, what the character models look like and, and just everything that we're able to do. Like I said, I don't think, y'all, that there will be a creative character in this game. It's difficult because with RPGs, a lot of RPGs, yeah, you get to create a character, but there's a lot more RPGs out there that you don't create a character. I know people are tired or they say that they're, oh, we're tired of playing through the sagas and this and that. But anytime there's a new saga, like Dragon Ball Super, um, you tend to play from Z up to that. Now, the issue is that this is called Dragon Ball Project Z. So more than likely, and it takes place in the Dragon Ball Z universe. So what I'm thinking and feeling is that more than likely, Dragon Ball Super won't even be a part of this game. I could be wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. But Dragon Ball Super is not Dragon Ball Z. They're two different things. And they're the same thing, but y'all get what I'm saying. They made a point to say that this takes place in Dragon Ball Z universe. And it starts, of course, with the Saiyan saga, as you could tell from the image that was released. So will Super be a part of it? They could uh, do it for DLC or they could make Super a part of it. And the reason that they call it Z is because that's where it starts. And the bulk of the story takes place in Dragon Ball Z's universe. I'm extremely interested to see y'all. I'm extremely interested to see, and I really do hope that Super is a part of it because Super was really, really good, and I think they should make it a part of it, uh, maybe for future DLC or something like that. And Maybe the reason they not because there hadn't been that much of Super, but uh, actually there has been a good deal. It's been two years worth of Super, so I don't see why they wouldn't. Also, uh, they've announced that Super is returning, so which we knew that anyway, but still. I'm, I can't wait till this weekend, y'all, because this weekend Bandai even tweeted out again and they tweeted out the image that you see here. And they said that we will be getting more information of this game this weekend. And that leads me to believe that this game probably will drop this this year. I'm thinking it will drop this year because if you got this much information on a game like this, normally they're not waiting two years to release this, these games. Bandai Namco, when they when they talk about a game, it's out within a year. It doesn't take them a year to release a game once they announce it and everything. So when we begin the title this weekend, I don't know if we do. We'll definitely whatever happens, we're updating it. And they're going to be showing the tournament live on Twitch. Now I don't know if they're going to cut the break and show some stuff live on Twitch or how it's going to go. But I'm definitely going to be tuned in on Twitch, ready and waiting to update y'all with whatever comes out. But I'm excited for it. I hope that y'all are excited for it. This is just a general how I'm feeling video. I really wasn't going to post the video tonight, but I've been watching and looking at these other Dragon Ball uh, RPGs. And it's just really got my gears turning. And it's tough for me to picture what this game is going to look like and how it's going to play. Um, in 2019, like I said, with the older style RPGs, it made sense. But in modern day, it's tough to find a game that I think would resemble the gameplay of this game, aside from like The Witcher. And I know people say, well, The Witcher is an RPG. It's adventure RPG. I, I, what games come to mind for me is like Dragon Age Inquisition, Skyrim, and The Witcher were, and if that's the case, then we're in pretty good hands as far as what this game could be like as with the open world and stuff like that. Now, if that is the case, like I said, a lot of times RPGs, you 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 get to pick what type of player you want to play with. But with it being a Dragon Ball game, that's different because it has a set storyline. So I'm pretty sure we'll be playing through it as Goku. I don't know. Some people may like that. Some people won't. Some people may find that boring and dull. Um, but I, I really believe that if it was going to be a creative character, instead of them releasing an image of Goku and Gohan, they would have released an image of, um, a creative character. That's just my opinion. <laughs> it's clearly speculation at this point, but it is a hot button issue. So my question to you all is, if there is no creative character, 
are you still going to buy this game? Or, and or, if you're playing from the Saiyan Saga through Super, if it's a, sa a Saga-based game in a sense where you're playing through the storyline without a creative character on top of that, are you still buying this game, yes or no? You see what I'm saying? Because, y'all, my issue with the creative character, I'm not against it, but my issue is if you put a creative character into this game, then it becomes like games that are already out, such as Xenoverse, Dragon Ball Heroes, and Dragon Ball Online. You see what I'm saying? But I also understand how popular creative character is. And yes, it would be really cool to play with a creative character, but then what is the story going to be? You see what I'm saying? Are we playing against the same villains? Is it a parallel universe where Goku doesn't exist? Where actually we know that's not true because we're looking at Goku. Art from the game. You see what I'm saying? So create, I, I'm just not seeing creative character fitting into this. And with creative character not possibly not fitting into it, will this game be fun just controlling Goku? Or will they go like Budokai 3 where you play through the story as different characters? Depending on who you have as your main character, you play through the different stories. I don't know, y'all. What do you think down in the comment section down below? Let me know. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. That's all I got for right now. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.